So we decided to go get some vegan soul food and we found this place called Vegan Soul Food in Houston. Uh, we've eaten here before. We really love the food and we got so much good things. We got mac and cheese. We got nachos. We got gumbo and we got boudin balls. If y'all are from the South or from Louisiana, y'all know what that is. Also Texas. <laughs> So we got some really yummy vegan soul food. Then we went to the Museum of Natural Science because we were going to see a uh, show in the planetarium. Uh, we kind of walked around outside a little bit before the show began and there's a beautiful park over here, a theater and this beautiful sundial that was um, built to, I guess, tell you the time. So, this is our little weekend outing. We're literally walking on a clock. On top of time. We walk on time. We are on top of time. <laughs> Under the pines. So this was my last Pilates class and um, I got here a little bit early so I went ahead and set up. So here is my little Pilates bag and all my little gear. Y'all it looks like it's about to rain and storm. I don't know if I need to be out <laughs> right now. I'm going to get my Starbucks and head back home. Um, if I have time... I guess I can go drop off the bag of clothes to Goodwill, but I'm not going inside. Yeah, I got cold brew with chocolate and caramel and a splash of coconut. So this is my impossible breakfast sandwich, no egg, no cheese. And it looks really, really bad out here, but I'm still gonna go drop these clothes off. Hopefully it won't rain. Just listening to a little bit of radio. <laughs> the roses in my front yard bloomed. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, it's spring. 
almost. So it is almost springtime and I'm going to start decorating in my parlor soon. Um, also, I love to use my planner and plan out the month in advance. I may not stick to all the things that I write down or I might add to it as we go. But yes, I really like to plan out, write things down, save it like a journal so I can see what I was doing, you know, years and, you know, years ago. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy. Um, you'll see I did a little bit of decorating later on in the video as well. So I've just been doing some planning and note taking and um, just doing some writing today. Kind of took it easy, but just made a lot of like plans, to do lists and things that I am looking forward to. So um, I'll probably be trying to go to uh, yoga and Pilates next week. I'm taking this week off to focus more on doing some things that I've been procrastinating on but definitely I am returning after my knee starts to feel better my CBD come my CBD gummies came so I'm gonna check those out later this evening and let you know how I feel about them maybe I'll show you them and so if you need some maybe you can order some as well but I'll get back to you on that so I'm going to attempt to make a plant-based fish fillet sandwich like they have at mcdonald's or any of the little fast food places so i picked up some things to make these are the vegan fish fillets i got some vegan cheese and some buns and tartar sauce i looked up it is plant-based so i don't have to worry and i got some pickles over there as well i cooked the fillets in the air fryer so i didn't have to put them in any oil or anything and I hope this tastes good because I used to eat the fish fillets from McDonald's when I was younger and they were pretty good. So let's see how this turned out. It was really good, actually. So um, if you guys are vegan or plant based, try this out and you might have like a familiar taste. It's really good. All right. So now I'm picking up Sasha from school. I already ate and I'll probably just either eat a fruit this evening or some type of veggie. Um, but yeah, I had my vegan or vegetarian style fish fillet. It was okay. Um, McDonald's one was a little bit more salty and greasy. But for a vegan um, version, that one was pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Also, um... Layla is going to be making her Beyond Burgers this evening for her and Sasha will eat something else because we always eat different stuff. That's why it's so hard to cook for all the people at once because we love different things. So we just kind of go on separate ways when it comes to eating food uh, or we'll just order out. So a lot of y'all have been asking me what I have been doing for my skin and my hair and you know why is it getting longer and thicker and you know my skin is all glowy and stuff um actually i just increased my calories like i gained a little bit of weight and with those increased calories um my hair grew thicker and longer and my face filled out a little bit more and my skin is doing really well and it's glowing i also like to use a little spin brush on my face to kind of exfoliate and um i've been wearing my natural hair more or just my hair a little bit more and that's pretty much all i've been doing i think increasing the calories definitely help the hair growth as well so um just letting you guys know. So I wanted to talk to y'all about staying unbothered. Staying unbothered helps you stay on your path, on your level up, and also keeps you from distractions and negative energies, negative people. So being unbothered is not a bad thing. It is a form of self-care and no one should feel bad about how they choose to feel. And even if that's feeling unbothered or ignoring something or someone that is not helpful or beneficial to you at this time, it's perfectly okay.
So yes, I can only pretty much fit my phone and the essentials in this purse, like my little Victoria's Secret wallet, a hair tie, a lip gloss, and my keys. This has like two zipper parts on it. It's really cute. Look at the little heart um, dangly. Isn't it precious? I'm going to link, um, if I can, if I can find the link below. Also, these come in different colors and patterns as well. So if you don't like this pattern, definitely uh, they have different colors I know Sasha got the black one there's one with red cherries I believe and a plain one without the cherry so it's kind of cute right so I got this cute smoothie maker uh, mini blender from goddess wild red so thank you girl we are making smoothies Layla Sasha and I each made a smoothie so it works really well and the smoothies came out really good um, so thank you for sending this to me. This was, um, very sweet of you and I appreciate it. And it also allows us to have a healthy snack or breakfast in the morning really quick without breaking out the giant blender or stuff like that. So thank you so much. Um, we are using this and we really appreciate it. Thanks God as well. Right? Hey y'all, so I'm at it again. Yes, I know I'm at the mall. I'm getting ready to go into Burlington's because they have some new spring decor. Hey y'all, okay, so I'm done with Burlington. I got a um, cute pair of slides and some other cute stuff I'm gonna show you guys when I get back home. But now I gotta head over to Pink because I have these little coupons that I have to use. I might go to Victoria's Secret and look around in there. They have some cute little accessories, keychains, maybe some perfumes or something like that. I, might, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I need to use these coupons up before the expiration date. So I'm gonna go into Pink and Victoria's Secrets to see if I like anything. I already got enough leggings and stuff for yoga and Pilates, so I don't need any more of that unless I see something really cute that I can't pass up. But I'm definitely gonna go in and there, try to use my coupons and maybe find something cute, um, maybe like an accessory or something. So. Hey y'all, okay, so I'm done with Burlington. I got 
um, cute pair of slides and some other cute stuff I'm going to show you guys when I get back home. But now i got to head over to Pink because I have these little coupons that I have to use. I might go to Victoria's Secret and look around in there. They have some cute little accessories, keychains, maybe some perfumes or something like that. I, might, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to use these coupons up before the expiration date. So I'm going to go into Pink and Victoria's Secrets to see if I like anything. I already got enough leggings and stuff for yoga and Pilates, so I don't need any more of that unless I see something really cute that I can't pass up. But I'm definitely gonna go in and there, try to use my coupons and maybe find something cute, um, maybe like an accessory or something. So. So y'all, I'm in the mall, if y'all can see, like, sitting down, got my bag, and I'm getting ready to head home. It is around noon, and I've done enough shopping for today. I gotta get back home and check some emails and do some stuff like that. So I got so many compliments on my outfit today. It's like this really cute pink slip dress, and I got my coach purse, um, and this little cute knit shrug top sweater type thing and I got so many compliments on this I'm like oh thank you <laughs> I felt really cute and girly um and I it's kind of muggy and hot it's getting to like 85 degrees today so I wanted to wear something a little bit light it's no longer winter in Houston so Gotta break out the spring clothes. I did get a few cute things at Pink. Um, a little outfit and I found a few little goodies at Victoria's Secrets as well. So I'm gonna show you those in a haul later on in the video. So you guys went to Victoria's Secrets and they had the buy two get three free. So I got some body sprays. Um, I got Warm Horizon. Um, that smells really good. I got a pastel sugar sky. I got jasmine rainfall lotion. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. I got the body spray for jasmine rainfall and the lotion for pastel sugar sky. It smells like vanilla, orchid paints, cotton candy. 
lavender and musk. We also got these cute lip glosses and cherry balm from Victoria's Secret. And I got the other one in candy baby. So okay, so from pink, I got this cute little squirt. And it has like this little crisscross waistband in the front and there's shorts underneath and it's stretchy. It's like a little tennis skirt. Isn't it cute? And on the back, it has this little rose gold pink little logo thing. But I got this and they're, they're stretchy and they're really good thick material. And then I got this cute, um, it's like a longer crop. And it's just like a little cute pink tie-dye shirt to go with it. And they have these little cute roll-up sleeves or you can unroll them. And they're long sleeves. It's kind of a stretchy material, I want to say. But it's really cute. So, okay. So, I also have some stuff from Burlington. So, I found this really cute backpack by Juicy Couture. And it's like this really pretty pink and it has like gold hardware. And this is what it looks like. I have not opened it or take, taken any of the tags off. Uh, so it's like straight out of the bag. And I paid $27 for that. It is the macaroon embossed handbag. And so it zips in the front. So you unzip this backpack. And this is what the inside looks like. Sorry, y'all. So the inside looks like it has a little zipper pocket and it's pretty much just a full nice roomy bag okay and so then it just has like this little zipper here so you can put your phone in it's pretty roomy so there's a lot of room there and then i got from oh let me finish the burlington then I got these cute little um, cute sandals. These are pink and it has like these little cute rose gold studs on them and it has like the really quilted looking you know, fabric there and there's a strap in the back. These were $9.99 and they're by Olivia and Kate. So really good find. They're only $10 y'all. Olivia and Kate was the brand. And then um, I also got some face wipes. These are collagen facial cleansing wipes and it got four pack. So really good. So I got these little cute Fila sandals. Um, they're just some slides that I can wear when I'm going just um, to Pilates or yoga or something um, or just around the house or maybe if I'm just you know walking somewhere where maybe like a pool or whatever so these were cute they were only $7.99 they had them in different colors too like black and I think they have blue uh but yeah $7.99 at Burlington and I also got this glow glowy serum um I don't know how it's gonna look but it looks really pretty that's coconut glow or cocoa glow and it comes in this cute bottle like this and it's sealed but you pump it like this and it gets I guess in the little vial and then you just put it on your skin so y'all and then I went to the bookstore I went to books a million and I got this cute Thomas Kincaid calendar it's gardens of grace and it's just beautiful paintings of like beautiful gardens and landscaping and homes and they were on sale for like three dollars so i picked up a couple of calendars i gave one to james but um yes really pretty i also had to get a needle from my record player because my old one is old and it needs to be replaced so i picked that up and then i got a book and this is things we hide from the light by lucy score so it's supposed to be some type of romance novel uh, with Southern charm and the bad girl. So I thought I would give it a try. So um, I'm gonna be reading this. I'm actually reading another book right now, but after I finish that book, I'm going to get. And last but not least, I picked up this really pretty candle. It's called Tranquil Time 
and it's in the scent Night Jasmine, and it's really pretty. It's by Tranquil Time Candle Company. So this like little sticker is really nice. It's like a textured type of paper. It has this little pretty gold charm on it with a little moon on the back, a moon and a star. Um, and then this really pretty iridescent glass and it smells magical. It's so pretty. Um, I love this. I'm going to be burning it this evening. So since it was, you know, getting to be warmer, I went ahead and started decorating for spring. I found these little cute eggs. Aren't they adorable? And I just spread them around my parlor and switched out some of the decor with more florals and flower arrangements that I've had uh, in the past and they are really pretty. Thank you so much guys for watching. Click subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye!